This week, I'm going to be telling you about six essential SEO tools and what they do. So my, the number one and my favorite is Google Analytics. I would hope that you know by now what Google Analytics is, but if you don't, it's a free tool from Google that lets you know how people found your site, what they're looking at on your site, how long they stay, and then if you're selling stuff online, what they're buying from you. So it's a great SEO tool because it can tell you how much traffic you're getting from Google search. So it won't give you actually which keywords people are using to arrive on your site. Google got rid of keywords a couple of years ago uh, with an update. But it will tell you how many visitors in total you're getting and then which pages on your website they're landing on. And by knowing which pages they land on, you can usually have a good guess about the kind of keywords they are using. But the good thing is that it will give you an absolute uh, rating of really whether or not your SEO is improving or not, as judged by the number of visitors you're getting. Are they going up or are they going down and what the trend is? So the second great uh, SEO tool is Copyscape. It's a really actually underutilized tool. Duplicate copy is a real issue when it comes to the internet. There are lots and lots of websites and websites owners that are out there copying content from sites and publishing it on their own because they want the, to be thought of as the expert. They want that well-written, well-crafted content. They can't be bothered to produce it themselves. If you take a look at Copyscape, and put the web, uh, page from your website in, it will tell you if the words on those page exist anywhere else on the internet. Or in other words, if anyone has copied your, your, your content. If you know that they've copied you, you can contact them, ask them to take it down. You can take, you can take action with that. It's a really good and essential tool if you're out there putting effort into your website and you don't want it to be copied. So the third great SEO tool is another one from Google. It's Google Trends. You may have heard of this one, but it's a really powerful tool. It shows you how the, how the number of searches for particular keywords changes over time, whether something is becoming more or less popular. The data goes back quite far, all the way back to 2004. And you can look at any keyword, any topic. It might be something like, exhaust parts or it might be something like holidays to Tenerife but you can put that keyword in and it will tell you whether the number of searches how that's changed uh, over the last 11 years you can also change the time period that you look at you could look at the last 12 months or the last 30 days so what's really good is it gives you the overall sense of if that keyword is being used more or less over time um, if something's been used more and more, you know it's becoming more popular in the UK. And if it's related to a product or service that you sell or that you're thinking about selling, then that's a really good thing. The second thing it's good for is benchmarking. So if you're trying to work out whether to sell exhaust parts or tires and you want to know where there is more demand, Google Trends will tell you whether there is more people searching for exhausts or more people searching for tires. And you can use that information to decide how to prioritize your website, how to prioritize uh, the content on your website and which products that you might want to sell. And the third really useful thing with Google Trends is seeing how the volume of searches changes uh, as we go through the year or as we go through each week. Now, there aren't the same number of searches for products every day. If you look for Father's Day gifts, surprise, surprise, that has a real peak in about a week before a week before Father's Day. If you look for searches for vodka, you'll find that there's a huge peak as we go towards New Year's. And if you search for hangover cure, you'll find there's a huge peak that goes just beyond New Year's. I'm pretty sure those two aren't related. But there's, that's the third great tool, Google Trends. The fourth one, and this one is really not well used and well known at all, is Google's safe browsing tool. So what this does is it lets you know, if you're a website owner, if your website has been hacked 
or if it's been infected with any malware. So if that's happened to your site, the chances are that Google might well not be ranking your site in its results anymore. Um, so if you find out that your site has been hacked or it has been infected, it allows you to deal with it in the right way and prevent it from harming your reputation. It allows you to take action and to resolve the problem in order to get your site clean again. So all you do is you go to the tool and you put your URL in and it show, shows you if Google thinks there's anything suspicious about your site and if it's been infected with malware in the last 90 days. So the fifth great SEO tool uh, that I recommend is one called browseseo.net. Now what this tool does is it lets you view any web page on your site as search engines see it. So it's really important to understand how search engines see your site because if you know how search engines see it, you'll know if they can actually see your content, if they've got a chance of understanding it, and if they're therefore going to rank it for, for searches that are relevant to what you do. So try browseseo.net and put any page from your site in there and see what Google sees when it looks at your site. And the sixth great, or I would say essential SEO tool, and I have to recommend it here because I think it's a really strong one, is our own 123reg search engine optimizer. So this is a tool that brings in lots of, uh, lots of this other stuff all in under one tool. So it allows you to do your keyword research so you can see how many, it can give you ideas for keywords and how many searches there are for particular keywords. It allows you to check your backlinks to make sure there are no problems there. Or in, in actual fact, you can look at competitor backlinks, understand where they're getting links from in order to help you try to get links from the same places or go after similar sites because it might be that those sites helping your competitors rank, you want to find ones that can do it for you. It can check the metadata on each page of your site, make sure that it's unique, make sure it's well-crafted, that it fits in with Google's guidelines, that it's going to look good when it appears there on the search engine results page. Um, and it can also check the, the, the quality of your content as well to work out if you're writing about enough, if you're writing enough about something on any particular page in order for Google to really understand what you're talking about. And one of the best things is that you can get a free report from it that can give you an instant snapshot on how well your site is set up from SEO and the kind of things that you might want to address. So that was the six essential SEO tools and what they can do. I'll see you next time.